Jerusalem, 8 o'clock a.m. The city's children are walking to school, girls who each have their own personal stories. Odelia lost her mother at age two and from that time was subject to verbal and physical violence from her father. Osnat, born to a drug addicted mother and never knew her father, she was found begging on the street. Shulamit, found in a monastery in Russia, an orphan, malnourished and suffering the effects of physical violence. Abital, born into a world of silence to deaf mute parents, one of seven brothers and sisters in a poverty stricken family. Odelia, Osnat, Shulamit, and Avital could have found themselves at the mercy of the streets, drugs, crime, and prostitution. But miraculously, each of them was able to reach Bayat Le Pleitot, Girlstown, Jerusalem. Bayat Le Pleitot, Girlstown, Jerusalem accepts girls whose lives have been less than fortunate and provides them with a world full of generosity, love, and sensitivity. The orphan home was founded in 1949 as an outcome of the Holocaust for the benefit of the refugee children that came from Europe. After the Holocaust, many Jewish girls lost their families and were homeless. On the insightful initiative of three people who felt the need of the moment, Bayit Le Pleitot, Girlstown, Jerusalem, was founded in Jerusalem, a home that accepted orphan girls who came out of the concentration camps. At that time, not every parent was able to provide for the needs of their child. Who would have imagined then that Bayit Le Pleitot, Girlstown, Jerusalem, would provide a unique solution for the problems of a modern Israeli society. I came here as a 10-year-old because of a history of problems in my family. Bayit Le Pleitot, Girlstown, Jerusalem is a home where you can find loads of affection and love, which every girl needs as a child. Today, Bayit Le Pleitot, Girlstown, Jerusalem shelters all types of girls from every ethnic background, with only one goal, to give them an equal opportunity for a happy life. If I hadn't come here, I don't know where I would be today. By Le Pleitot, Girlstown, Jerusalem isn't an orphan's home, it's a home. Everything comes from the heart. Home has a practical meaning for these girls. Spacious dorm room, the full dining room, and a sewing room with an on-site seamstress to service the girls. Like all homes, it is the place where all their needs are taken care of. It is an entire world for them. Nothing was spared in giving us the very best. To make sure these girls aren't left behind, special effort, patience, and careful thought are required to create the conditions they need for a better future. The warmth that a little girl needs from her father and mother overflows there with abundance. Today, Sigalit is an accomplished fashion designer. Her designs are sold all over the country. Sigalit owes her financial success to Bayat Le Pleitot, Girls Town, Jerusalem. Here, she not only learned the skills to sew and to design, but even studied how to manage her own business. In order to reach such achievements, there is a strong emphasis on study. The school day is filled with many lessons, hours of experience in the world of science and nature, and of course, computers. There is training in graphics and accounting. I'm learning bookkeeping and secretarial skills, and I hope to work in that field. Bayat Le Pleitot, Girlstown, Jerusalem, 
offers all this to the girls throughout the school year. Beyond formal education, the girls enjoy enrichment programs and a large selection of clubs and activities. Extra attention is provided in teaching the girls the principles of home management and learning how to cope with life. All forms of therapy and tutoring are available to enable each girl to maximize her potential. Sometimes you can forget that behind every glance is a painful personal story. Bayat Le Playtote, Girls Town, Jerusalem is home for these girls. It is open 365 days a year, including holidays, the Sabbath, and of course, vacation time. Special efforts are directed at providing the warm family atmosphere that the girls miss, especially during these times. The home started with 26 children. Today, we are now a home for over 600 girls. They come to us with tears in their eyes, and ultimately, they go on, leave the home with big smiles, dressed in a beautiful bridal gown, they give every bride all she needs to set up her new home, an entire trousseau. Bayit Le Pleitot, Girls Town, Jerusalem, tries to give each bride furnishings, appliances, and a beautiful wedding. I loved being there so much. Every minute there was like being in a warm home in every sense of the word. My mother says they didn't only help me, they also helped the whole family. We received warmth, love and devotion from every member of the staff. There were 25 girls in my class and now I have 25 sisters for a lifetime. There is no problem that can't be overcome if there is love and a desire. Bayat Le Playtote, Girls Town, Jerusalem is not just another institution. It is a home to those who never had the good fortune to grow up with a caring father and mother. They are the precious ones that with your help, with our help, will make them into human beings with a future to look forward to, even if they did not have any past.